in Jesus' precious name. Please return back to your seat. We'll take the testimonies later. Psalm 84 and in verse 7. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before the Lord. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before the Lord. The subject this afternoon, very briefly, is strength in his presence. Strength in his presence. It is very important and clear that the presence of the Lord is the headquarter of strength. Headquarter of strength. Psalm 96 verse 6 reconfirms that to us. He say, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Isaiah chapter 40 and in verse 31. But they that wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Somebody say a loud amen. Every time we are in need of strength, the place to go is the presence of God. Every time we are in need of dealing with weakness, the place to go is the presence of God. What kind of strength can we receive from the presence of God? Number one, spiritual strength. That is, the, that is the strength that helps us to deal with the devil. That is the strength that helps us to be stronger than our enemies. Spiritual strength. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day against the devil. Spiritual strength. That is a strength that makes it impossible for us to faint in the day of adversity. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10, if thou faint in the day of adversity, it's because thy strength is small. When we come to the presence of God, we are able to connect with the kind of strength required to deal with the adversary. Number two is physical strength. This is the realm of health and vitality. The realm of health the realm of energy, vitality. It was said of Moses that he was 120 years old when he died. Proverbs 34, 9. Sorry. Um, Deuteron Deuteronomy 34, 7. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim. His strength was not reduced because of how much time he spent in the presence of God. May 
Maybe you are here today with a weak heart. Weak kidneys. A weak liver. Weak lungs. Muscle power is gone. You're almost paralyzed. The presence of the Lord is the place of physical strength. Number three is emotional or psychological strength. Emotional, psychological. Maybe your emotion is so weak, you can get easily depressed, get easily discouraged, get easily hopeless. The presence of God is the place where we get strength for our emotion. Where you are not a victim of mood swings. Happy today, sad tomorrow. Isaiah chapter 53 from verse 1 to 7 showed us who has believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of the, a dry ground. He has no form, no comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. So he carried our sorrows, carried our depressions. So that we can be free. That is emotional strength. For rejected people, disappointed people, discouraged people, depressed people. Number four is mental strength. What is the difference? This has to do with the power of the will. This has to do with the power of choice. There are those who are so weak-minded, they don't have a mind of their own. They can't make a decision. It's another realm altogether. They can't say no to the wrong thing when they need to say no. Weak-minded. But in the presence of God, you get mental strength. You have the capacity to have a will that can, that, that, that can have a say. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 said we can be transformed by the renewing of our minds. There is something that the presence of God does to your mind that makes you to be able to have a voice and to have a say. So spiritual strength, physical strength, emotional or psychological strength, mental strength. Number five is character strength there are many who need the strength of character the young man said he masturbated nine years twice to three times every day he had no power no strength of character to defeat that thing until he stepped into the sanctuary and something vibrated in his body and he came again there are those who are bound with tobacco and different kinds of addictions and they are unable to break free they need strength strength in the inner man strength in the inner man Ephesians chapter 3 verse 14 he said, for this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he will grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. To be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell 
in your heart by faith that you be rooted and grounded with love you may be able to comprehend with all the sins what is the breadth and length and depth and height it's called inner strength strength in the inner man strength in the inner man it happens in his presence somebody say a loud amen somebody say a loud amen How do we access the strength that we are talking about? Number one, in his sanctuary. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them appear it before the Lord. Psalm 84 verse 7. You don't just come to church. Come in for a religious purpose. You come to church for a spiritual encounter. You come with the mind. That you are coming to encounter God. Number two, in intimate fellowship with God. Where you wait on God's presence, as Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31 said. Not just in fasting, but in intimate fellowship with God. When you take time in fellowship and intimacy with God, it is possible to see strength. And number three, in meditation of the word. In the meditation of the word. Because the word of God is God. John chapter 1 verse 1 to 5 in the beginning was the word the word was with God and the word was God 1 verse 1 the word is God the word is the same as God to study the word is to access his presence when this tree happens to you it is possible to connect strength right now I speak by prophecy to somebody the demons you could not defeat before today after this service this morning fresh strength is released upon you to finish those devils in the name of jesus today i announce everyone whose heart is weak the lungs are weak the liver is weak the 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 the, 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 the brain whatever is weak in your body your muscles are weak I prophesy today physical strength is coming your way in the name of Jesus everyone that is a victim of depression a victim of hopelessness a victim of despair a victim of discouragement I prophesy to you that season of discouragement and despair is over forever in the name of Jesus prophesy to you today every weak mind receives strength from the Lord and everyone battling with a bondage a character situation I decree today that bondage is broken in the name of Jesus so shall it be lift up your right hand everywhere you are and begin to receive strength Thank you, Master. Diabetes had been healed already in the course of the service, and hypertension has been healed. Between 10 to 15 people with ulcer are healed. Back of the neck pain is also healed. The spirit of death has just been cancelled. A, vil, a demonic conspiracy from ancestral altars has just been scattered. Somebody's eye muscles that are weak, eye that is almost blind or blind already, is opened right now. 
and the ear that couldn't hear is hearing right now. If you are in that category, the 10 to 15 people, all sounds that are healed, you check yourself and you cannot find it anymore. You were told you had pepi cancer disease, you can't find it. Quickly rush forward here and let us see what happened. You had the eye that couldn't see well or not see at all, and it is healed already. Quickly rush forward here as well. You had um, the other case that was mentioned, the back of the neck affliction. Also rush forward here. The eye that couldn't see well or not see at all, and is seen now, rush forward here at all. And then somebody like you, match charm on the right leg, the leg is appearing to be on fire. That leg is healed right now quickly step forward here tumors and growths and lumps have disappeared and gone breast lumps are gone uh, thyroid goiter growth is gone hyenas are gone and all manner of growths and swellings are gone check yourself and come forward here very very quickly i that couldn't see see now i i i i ask you don't move an inch within the next 15 20 minutes we shall be making some declarations that you need before you leave here father thank you father thank you father thank you we give you the praise yes tell me what happened to you because of lack of time